Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this uh, question. This one is interesting actually. Now this question is from uh, Bupesh and Bupesh is trying to do something with Confluence, Jira and uh, Script Runner. Now the question is how to create a subtask with a field and assign information coming from a predefined Confluence page. Now uh, this question is a bit lengthy but uh, what 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 Bupesh is trying to do is let us say you have a conference page and uh, in that particular conference page you have a table and the table has this information where you have the name uh, some name and assignee and what Bupesh is trying to do is uh, based on this table and uh, maybe 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 a list of issues or some task basically he's talking about subtask should be created in Jira using uh, this information that you have in the confluence page and uh, what he is uh, trying to do he is actually trying to do something from jira so basically what he is saying that he um, he has a he has a post function in jira where subtasks are actually getting created based on of course you know user action uh, maybe you transition the issue and uh, there is a script doing something uh, creating those subtasks but what Bupesh is trying to do is uh, trying to fetch the conference page where there is a table and uh, update the assignee or create the assignee based on this particular table. Now what he's trying to do is, uh, so first of all there is a feature in conference where you, where you can actually create uh, Jira issues. So this is actually uh, a, a, a very common thing that people do. It's especially if you're using Confluence where uh, maybe you have uh, this Confluence space where you keep track of your requirements and or maybe you know your epics for example. So when you create uh, this particular uh, table in Confluence, I I'll probably try to use, uh, let us try to use this uh, template and I'll probably show you what exactly I'm talking about. So. Uh, so on the right hand side there are some templates and let me search for uh, requirement gathering template yep product requirements and uh, if you now take a look at this particular table uh, okay so there are a lot of things and uh, you know these are the requirements okay so let us say you have you know um, okay requirement requirement and uh, blah 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 let us you know um, worry, let us not worry about, let us not worry too much about the, uh, uh, too much about the actual, you know, uh, content. So let us uh, create this table and uh, what I will do is, I will try to show you what I am trying to show you. Um, here is the ability of Confluence where it can actually create uh, uh, Jira issues so when you basically select a select you know multiple rows in a table you can see here that uh, this particular uh, uh, macro i mean it's an nitty feature by the way so you can actually map your requirement to summary and description to user story and uh, following issues will be created so when you, when you do this you can of course select the project let us say you want to do it in uh, android and you want to create stories so you can actually click on the create button and it will actually create uh, uh, issues for you and this is of course a wonderful uh, feature that uh, we have in uh, Confluence and uh, people use it for doing a lot of wonderful things especially when uh, they have uh, this uh, uh, requirement uh, gathering document and they want to basically make sure that uh, Jira uh, issues especially epics can be created. So this is of course a known feature and people use it quite a lot. Now what I wanted to show you is that uh, this feature, I mean, you can see uh, are these to, those, those, no, no, not really these, these issues, but let me go to the Android project. I think uh, we selected Android, I guess. So let us go to the backlog and uh, and I guess uh, the uh, stories are, where are those stories? I think I need to probably use, uh, let, let me use issue navigator, probably easier. And uh, let us select, uh, yeah, I think these are, these are the two issues, right? So what I was trying to show you is that this is of course a feature where you can create Jira issues but what uh, Bupesh is trying to do is trying to create a subtask and uh, then update the assignee. Now because Bupesh has script now, potentially what he can do is he can, he can actually use the uh, 
application link between Jira and Confluence and uh, go to the page where this table is stored and then uh, pass the content of the page and look at the table and then maybe try to use that information in the script. So this can actually be uh, can be uh, used, but it's a bit too much. It's a bit complicated uh, uh, automation because uh, you're, you're trying to fetch something from Confluence where this uh, key value mapping is stored, which I I think it's probably not a great idea because uh, it's a conference page, right? It is not really a database or it is not really something that is, uh, I mean, anyone can modify a conference page or basically anyone with the permission can modify a page. So it is probably not, I, I would not do it. I'll probably store this information somewhere in uh, in Jira or better better approach would be to use Confluence. So basically do all of this using Confluence. So uh, you can probably create one macro um, and then uh, use Jira's REST API. Or if you have a script now for Jira in Confluence, then that would be wonderful because uh, uh, because creating these issues directly from Confluence uh, using Jira's API, REST API is uh, probably much simpler automation. And I thought I'll probably talk about this today because uh, you might be using this feature in, in Confluence and Jira where you're creating Jira issues from Confluence. But if you're trying to do something a bit more customized, then uh, uh, there are some possibilities. But natively, no. Natively, you have to use that uh, macro. Uh, and usually, people are using that macro for creating epics or stories uh, when you're working on the requirement gathering uh, session. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Thank you very much.